Let's go paint a white owl. I'm Michelle Manriquez from Drop That Brush, and I want to help people who are non-artists become artists. Like, subscribe, and ring that bell. The reference photo was taken by Gillian Merritt, and I want to thank him for kindness to share his video. I really loved Harry Potter, and they had this white owl in uh, the Harry Potter series. So we're gonna call him Hegwig. The picture, the value sketch, and the drawing will be in the description below and on Drop That Brush Facebook page. So you can paint with me. Won't that be fun? First thing I wanna talk about is white. White is not white. I, I know you think it is. You say white, this or that. No, most of it's not white. There'll be a little pieces of a white owl that are actually white, but most of it has some color in it. That's number one you need to know, is there will be color in a white owl. Last week, I checked out colors for this week's video. So, check that out. Let you know how I got chose and how I looked at this to see what, what would work and would not work. It's really important that you do that prior to going to paint. So check out the video. Now I'm not going to say it's this color or that color. Here's basically what you need to know. A warm blue, cobalt or ultramarine. A warm brown could be red iron oxide, it could be brown sienna, burnt orange, um, or burnt sienna. It's a warm brown. I don't care which one you use, it will still work. And some kind of pink. I chose a pink that was a little bit duller, but you could simply use uh, permanent rose. I just want you to realize that just because I'm doing those particular colors, you can have a beautiful job with the same basic things using one warm brown, one warm blue, and pink. So when you take these colors together, you get kind of a grayish tone, but with some pipes of excitement, which is why I love painting on the paper, not mixing on the plate. So I, I put it there, I, I have little colors, and I just grab the color and go back and forth and so I have different colors. And that's to me makes it much more exciting than just doing a plain wash. Some people like me have a really hard time keeping things light. Oh, I can do dark, no problemo. But keeping it light, and this is difficult. So if the value scale goes from one to 10, uh, one being white and 10 being black, you want to stay one through five for the out. And it's hard. So you have a, a much minute little difference of, of your value ranges. It's actually harder, I think, than it is just having really light, light colors and dark colors. I notarized it, uh, notarizer and pick joy. Uh, to try to separate values, to make things more simple so I could be able to see what I need to do. It's a great painting, but it's kind of confusing. And that's kind of why I looked at it. So what I did is I went back to Pick Joy and I drew on it, the basic shapes. So my goal is to paint a shape, not an owl. So I'm just gonna do a shape and then using some little bit of uh, darks and lights to separate things, boom, it's going to be an owl. Seriously, I know it sounds weird, but this works. I decided to do a bokeh technique 
see the video there. And I'm going to spend go real fast on that. It's kind of a long uh, video, so I decided to go through. If you want to see how to actually do it, you need to go back to the other video and check it out. I want you to understand how I set up my information. I don't just say pretty color, pretty picture, let's go paint. I do a whole bunch of things before I get ready. I spend more time thinking about it <laughs> than I do actually painting it. It took me about two hours real time, but it was, but I probably spent five hours thinking about it, okay? So the painting isn't the hard part. It, having the preparation and ready to paint so that you have a good design, good colors, and good values, it requires a lot more work than people think about. Let's paint Hedwig. Well, I have to tell you, this is a little more difficult than I realized when I really got into it. So I broke this up, the values up. This is the light, darker, and a little dark. So this everything is going to probably be a five or six. I'm going to try to follow this pattern. So here we go. All right. I was filling up my cobalt blue and yeah, I made a mess. So I'm just going to kind of use this until I get done. Okay, makes sense to me. And I think the easiest way is to go ahead and put water on everything. So I know that that area is gonna be pretty much white. So I'm just gonna leave that alone. And I'm gonna monitor where I get their whites and I'm gonna tap it out. I think this is the easiest way I'm gonna get. There's one little white here. This is white. So, um, and I'm gonna use, and it's going to be tea strength. Very, very light. And if it's wet, it's going to be really light. A little white here too. So I'm just kind of tapping that back out. make sure that this is a soft edge. I don't want it to be hard. So, you know, I just put color on it. It's nothing dramatic. It's just a little color. And there's going to be a little color here. And I'm just going to switch back and forth and kind of just let whatever happens, happens. I'm not going to get too worried about it. Um, this is a really white wash. This is not... And if it's not perfect, that's okay. If it goes outside, that's okay too. There's no problems with this. This is just trying to get something here so that we're not totally white. Now there's a white area right here. It's dark except for one speed of white. And I'm trying to figure where the white is. I just want some little color here and there. Because this is so soft and gentle that it really won't matter. <laughs> now, there's this little white right on this end. And again, if I got, if I miss and get stuff there, it's okay. No worries. Be happy. Now, I can see this area is a little darker. So, I'm going to go ahead and maybe put a little more dark on it. but it's easy enough just to tap it, kind of stop it where I want it to stop it. Oh, look, and I just splattered. Oops. You know, we worry too much. Enjoy our, ourself. It doesn't have to be perfect. I am not perfect ever. I can guarantee you. this in which is the um the green because i want some place to have that green now because this little area is actually in the snow i actually want it to be kind of not too tight so if i if my water comes right in there i'm just gonna tap it it's no big this is why i like doing it because i got a really soft and yes i have a little boo-boos here and there and you know what? I can either tap it. Don't worry about it. It's a light enough wash. It will not do anything 
horrible. Now, as long as it's still, now over here, it's already dry. So we do not want to do anything here. Over here, it's wet, so I can play. This is going to be dark, so I can let things kind of shove out and don't hurt a thing. What I'm looking for is areas that should have had been more white. When I'm looking at this, this is this color. So I just want you to see it. So this is already done. <laughs> so now I'm going to work on these shapes, okay? Then I'm going to do, and this one, and probably this too. They'll be a little darker, just a, just a touch darker. We're not worried about the dots. We're not worried about stupid stuff. We're only worried about the basic shape. Shape, I don't want to really go anything more than T-strength still. I really don't want this to be, this, this is a white owl which means you can't do too very dark. So I'm gonna to try to keep it under five value. So I'm just gonna use the same colors. This is dry. So this will get darker than this one because this had this was wet and wet. And But I'm gonna still stay in the same T strength. Can you see it? The T strength thing so I don't get too crazy because yeah, I have a tendency to make it very dark. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to soften edges as I'm going. And I'm going to pause and I'm going to soften an edge. And pause and I'm going to soften an edge. I'm going to change color. I'm going to change color again. I don't want it to be the same. And I'm trying not to really get gray, gray, gray. I'm just trying to get kind of a melt in what it wants to do. Now I'm going to pause. I'm going to make sure it's pretty wet and I'm going to soften edges. Second, I'm looking and thinking, debating if that's going to be enough value that I can. So I'm just going to tap a little bit more color in. Could all, you could also do this. Say you're not very good at softening edges, just do this and tap it back out. So I'm not outlining. What am I doing? I am simply getting a big shape. If I can get the shape and get a good shape, really most of it's done. Then it's just detail. soften this. I can come back through and clean this up. I'm not totally sure where I'm going there and I'll come back through and make sure what I'm doing is what I want because again I'm just kind of getting a basic shape on. Once the shapes are on we'll have a better idea what we're going to do all this. Everything should have a little color, a little a little fun. Now I know this is going to be a darker area, so let me go ahead and pop that in dark. But because I'm going at a slant, now I don't want it to be the same color, so maybe some of it will have a little this. Okay, I have. Do you see any color? I don't see any color. All right, let's try this. How about a little, uh, let's put a little, uh, uh, the color of green. Yeah, that's cute. I like that. And it just gives it something because that was like looking kind of boring. Here we go. This is this color. Now I'm going to come back and I'm going to put the darks. I'm going to work on the face. I am not worried about this dot. I'm just trying to get the little shape in. Then we'll do the face. And we'll work on the back. This is not hard. You can make this simple by just doing a big shape. So let's look at this for a minute. Here's white. What is this? This is barely 
this this one one over what's the second one mm, that's probably someplace between maybe this one so i don't want to get deeper than that do I think I cut the paper look at that well I actually think that looks like something wrong with the wood that works for me I'm not going to argue with it you know and really it looks really good when you do uh wood is to do a little bit of splatter we're going to go for the dark now when I say dark it means just a little bit darker it is not going to be very much darker I'm going to continue to try to keep it T-string. Okay, so I have my piles again. I'm gonna make this kind of a harder edge too. It's going to be too dark, but when I put the background in, it's gonna make such a difference. Okay, there's that shape. There's a shape right here. Let me get that shape. Okay, I gotta figure out where, where is that? Is that shape? See right there that shape? That shape is, needs to be done. That's why I'm trying to keep it really not too uh, dark by using a T-strength. So I have to really work on it to get it too dark. Oh, but not that. T-strength, I said, baby. T-strength. I want this to be white. Right here. But I want it to be a really soft edge. So I'm going to make sure I'm going this way when I'm doing it. So I don't make a mess. So I'm going to use for this one... It's going to be much darker. This side's going to be a little lighter. This will be darker. Now, I'm not, I, I think I need to come to the other side. So what I'm going to handle is I'm putting water here. Won't hurt anything. It can just sit there because I feel like this is going to be a problem if I don't start working on it a little bit more. I don't want it to be hard. See that hard edge? I don't like that. So I think I'm gonna flip it around and soften that a little bit too. Maybe not right here. Maybe this would be more important. And then I'll just soften some edges right here. Okay, now you know you're thinking, ugh, oh, that looks awful. I actually think it looks great. I know, I'm crazy. But I know where I'm going towards, and so most of my time will probably be spent on the eyes, the beak, the nose, to the, uh, some of the color of the eye. That'll be the first thing. And I'm going to do this. I'm going to make it very light for the moment. Everything but the highlight. I'm going to put just a little bit of that brown up top. I'm going to pull this out just a tad right here. Just give it a little, okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that looks good. All right, other side. Now, the other side, it's a little more brown, but we're going to still start the same way. This side of the face is darker. It's subtle, but it is darker. But definitely a little darker than the other side. That's kind of what I was going for, and I think that'll work. Merges into the lip. And then this actually goes over here. And I'm going to soften an edge. And I see a little triangle shape there. Now I'm going to come through and I'm going to do a small kind of gingerly putting in some dark. 
because I want to make sure I got it where I want it and I don't want to mess it up. shape that kind of goes this way. I don't want that to be a hard edge because right because that is not a hard edge. That is a very soft edge. The um, head turns here. Oh, I just realized something. Live and learn. Only done a one other owl one other time. There is a light color right here. And I'm gonna pull it back out quickly. And I can see right at the tip. It's a little dark right here and right there. That's cute. There is the lightest shade of right here. I noticed it, but it was so, oh, that is not a lightest shade. We're talking just a little blush. So this is the top of his beak and it goes into his mouth, which just makes this really fun. Thicking this up so I can get a real good dark. And we're going to soften edges. And you put the eyes in, all of a sudden it pops. And so in and out. So I have this fat little area. And then it gets skinny. And then this kind of goes right there. And I'm going to soften some edges. Because can you look how hard that looks compared to that? It makes a huge difference to soften edges. Here. I'm trying to look at how to make it where I want it to look right. Let me just try this again. Didn't like that. I'm going to pause. I have a little issue, so I'm going to pause and let it dry, and then I will think. What I do is um, just soften edges and make it a little darker in certain spots. How hard is that? Soften, 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 soften. <laughs> be 
and follow layer and then I will be doing some bokeh in the background. I have no idea if this will come out good or not. We'll just kind of see, okay? Woohoo, are you ready? like an owl, white owl. Now look, I've got stuff all over my hands. Welcome to my life. Okay, I gotta clean that up. in the eyes but that pretty much gives me okay now I'm at the point that I'm actually looking at the picture um, I need a little detail here a little detail there things that say oh yeah let's go that way and let's go that way can you see me moving it all I'm doing is getting a movement that says look here <laughs> do you see a white out good enough you don't need to spend a million things saying okay you need to see every single little feather and you know people aren't dumb people know know what what things they are they're not you know they got it we have to be, <laughs> we need to know that people, that they're perfectly capable of figuring out what's going on. They go, oh yeah, that's an owl. Got that. I don't think I have the shape right here quite right. It's kind of brown, more brown. And it's a little bit more, hmm, that's the word I want to use. More of a little... Triangular shape. There, I like that better too. Even though that's not what it says, it just feels better for me. There's a little shape here and a little here. 
and there happens to be, and I'm just softening edges, and I'm going to throw in some uh, dots. I'm going to squeeze my brush, and I'm not going to really worry about if it's, okay, probably needs to be a little darker than that, a little thicker, okay? So there's a quite a bit darker here and it kind of rolls it here. And how does the, the movement go that way? Okay, there's the movement and this goes, I'm going to just kind of, and, it, and I'm just going to soften the edge. I can probably even put that a little darker, I think. <laughs> So I'm just separating these two feathers. Now there's a whole bunch of little things here, but I'm not sure of how much is important. So I'm just gonna do a little movements um, and then just shove it in and you figure it out because people are so much. lot of detail on that top all right we need to I need to I need to chill out because I've got plenty of detail to say oh yeah that's now <laughs> great I can take a little simple movement and just saying yes 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 Yes, yes, okay, fine. Boy, that looks to me de really detailed. <laughs> back up no big so but this is dark so all I'm doing is trying to figure out where there's maybe a little lighter and a little darker that I should but I don't want to be too persnickety all right I'm going to say that's that's good enough. I don't think it needs really any more information to say, ow. I still have to do the feet. There's a couple of really dark, dark areas I want to hit. Okay, there's a light. And I think I need to pull this out. Let's see. Right here. See, rather than fighting keep the light. I'm just going to make it, just pull it out at the end. It's so much easier. So there is this shape right here and it coops here, loops down. I think I'm just going to kind of draw it real fast so I can see it. This, it goes up and dot 
dots as I'm going or anything. Kind of looks like, it actually looks like little dots. Yeah, let's go for that. Huh. I either go really dark or I go re, I guess I'm going to go really dark. What do you think? Yeah, I'm going to go really dark. I think I'm going to pull some of this out just a little bit right here. And I don't think it really matters, to be honest, if it looks perfect. Do you want the people to focus on the feet? Is that what you want to say? I want to say owl's feet. If that's not it, then don't spend any more time than that. That's plenty of time. And so I can come over here and fix it. It's no big. I'm just going to pull this out, let it dry a little bit, and I'll fix it. Now, I have no idea what it is. I think... I think that there is one of the thing... I just saw something that I'm going to pull out. Boop, boop, boop. There are little, little pen feathers, I think they're called. And I'm just going to kind of add a couple and they're going kind of sideways and then curving over. I'm going to sharpen this edge up because I'm not clear as to what's going on there. I'm gonna this has to just kind of separate it because it, so it shows that it's behind and I didn't do that. It looks like right here I have a feather that needs to be pulled. There we go. Oh yeah, that's better. That fixed that issue. I didn't like. There's this I don't I really don't know what's going on here, but I'm just gonna do this and pretend like I know what I'm doing and not going to sweat it. I just think that needs something with it. I'll just soften it and I'll just let you figure it out. Does that work with you guys? Works really works for me. I don't know if other people do that, but it's like, oh my. There's, there's some movement here. And I'm just, just trying to get a little movement and then softening it. This needs to be lighter. I took that too dark. All right, I'm gonna finish this up. Then I have to decide, am I actually going to uh, do bokeh on that? I don't know, man. To be honest, I really kind of like it. Just how it is. So, and it goes kind of sideways. And I think I'm done. I don't, I, you know, I could do a lot more. I could just spend a lot of time on this. This, this is, could be a very, very difficult bird if you're really being precise and i it was a little harder than i thought Eeks. i'm just gonna leave that be because you don't want to be focused on the uh the stupid feet and so you could spend a lot of time doing the feet 
but it's really not that important. What do I still need to do? I really actually just like it how it is. I'm scared to, you know, I'm a little scared that I'm going to destroy it when I do the, the bokeh. All right, all right, but let's think about it. I can come back through and put another layer on if I hate what I did. All right, so then as far as I'm concerned, this is done. I might do just a couple little more things with the uh, snow and... Dots or I can do dots. All right, now I am not making sure that every dot is exactly where it says. I'm just gonna have water in an area. So I'm doing this part and I'm going to squeeze, squeeze it. I'm gonna make it really thick, really dark. I can come I could come back if it's still not dark enough and make a little couple of movements but overall nah so okay thick light I'm looking at the shape and it kind of goes here and here and here okay uh does it curve yeah this one curves try to do a little bit some a little bigger now you can see that one didn't didn't move good. So I'm going to uh, use some water and kind of tap it out. See that had water, so it's really soft. It looks like water here. It's interesting. It didn't get everywhere. It's like over here, it, there's no no dots at all. actual bokeh in the photo here little bokeh thing to be a let's do a little a little one <sighs> okay did one all right so let's just go for it now yeah i'm gonna stop before i get in trouble Yep, 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 yep. I feel the trouble coming on, baby. I love watercolor. You know, I, it's just the most joyous thing. And this one came out, okay, I'm happy with it. But it's important that you learn and grow. Doesn't matter. I've been doing this 15 years. I learn new things every day. This is the most amazing thing about art is you can always grow and learn and get better. It's sometimes a little slower as you get older at doing this, but it does happen. New techniques, learn to um, do things that might be different, fun. I just do really love watercolor. So you know what? When you're not sure what you're doing, drop that brush. I went to a Carl Purcell's workshop last week. I set up a new travel palette. People were wanting me to do a video about it. So next week, we'll talk about how I did this. And I'm actually kind of excited. This really worked for me. Um, you know, you never know until you try it. So I wasn't a, wouldn't have done a video, but it really is cool and it really works. And it wasn't hard and not outrageously expensive. That's what we need for next week. So, so you want to paint with me? Go down below to the description. There'll be links for the value sketch, the picture, and the drawing. Take that painting and put it on Facebook. Drop that brush. I would love to see your work. Like, subscribe, and ring that bell. You have a wonderful week, and I'll see you next week. Bye.